witchcraft boy. I'm taking a break on knots for now, seeing as I've seen some posts in a few groups asking how to sharpen knives. Problem is, most videos only do half the process. I'm going to do the whole thing. Part one is preparing the waterstone. Part two, actually sharpening the knife. Let's start with part one, seeing as it's the first part. This is an old, used and abused waterstone. Seeing that it has been used a fair few times, it has become very, well, quite curvy. We need to dress it, or in other words, prepare it, but not in clothes or put it in a bit of makeup. What we need to do is just make it flat again. All we need is some coarse sandpaper, some sellotape, a pencil and a ruler. Use the sellotape to fix the sandpaper firmly down onto your flat surface. Use your pencil and ruler to draw a cross on the water stone. You don't have to use a ruler, but I think it would be better if you do. You now have your cross on your water stone. You will know when you have finished rubbing your water stone on the sandpaper because the cross will have vanished from the centre. It will do edges first. Now what you do is Turn the water stone over and start rubbing it in circles on your sandpaper. So, because when all the cross has gone, you will know that your water stone is flat. Keep checking regularly on the cross. change when you're checking. This is a very important but also very easy process. By looking at the water stone and how much of the cross is gone, you can see how well you're progressing. The cross has now completely vanished and now our water stone is ready to be used. Now we've dressed or flattened the water stone, we're now ready to move on to the second part of the video, sharpening your knife. First, you need to soak the water stone in, as the name suggests, water. Depending on the stone, this should take anywhere between 5 and 20 minutes. We are now ready to sharpen the knife. We would usually fix this to a workbench, but seeing as the workbench is in use at the moment, we are using the top of this old washing machine as it has a lip around it. What you do is you hold the knife flat on the stone like this, be careful not to put your fingers too close to the edge because you're sharpening the knife, not your fingers. I will do this slowly and clearly so you can see the procedure. Once you've done that 
anywhere between five and eight times. Turn the knife over and do it on the other side. Stropping is the next stage in the process. It's all about getting burrs off the metal. If you strop enough, it will save you from having to sharpen your knife as often. Here's how you do it. Stropping is a simple process. I'm just using a leather belt and a door handle. Pull the leather belt tight when it's hooked over the door handle and use this method. Spine, down, pull back. Do this about between 20 and 50 times. Then do it with the other side. Never ever push forwards when you're stropping. Always pull back. If you push forwards, you will slice through your belt and have a very angry dad. Now that we've finished doing the 1000 grit side of the stone and the leather strop, we're now going to go on to the 6,000 grit side of the stone. To use this side of the stone, we need to create a slurry. In order to do that, we need to use a Nagora stone. This slurry is a very fine abrasive. It will polish an edge onto the blade. Keep cleaning the knife, keep cleaning your stone and keep replacing the slurry. You need to put the, the gorm stone in water then rub it round your 6,000 grit bit of the stone to create your slurry. What we've done to the 1,000 grit side of the stone, we do to the 6,000 grit side of the stone. And also, don't forget, whatever you do to one side of the blade, you must do to the other. Do not worry if you see black lines on the stone. All it is, is metal off the knife. Once you've finished, yet again, it is time to strop. Don't forget, 20 to 50 strokes in each direction. If you want with stropping, you can always use some polishing compound on the leather. Rub it on, but it will come off on your clothes if you put the belt on. So be sure you're not going to use that belt for other things. I'm Bushcraft Boy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. For now, bye.